One day, in the University of Science and Technology at Will City, another course has tasked us with another project. The course was entitled SCH232 Introduction to Psychology. The project required us to develop a research hypothesis, design an experiment to test it, actually performing the experiment on our colleagues. Man, are we mad sciences? Anyway. Collect the data from the experiment, analyze it to see whether it supports or rejects our hypothesis, and finally represent our work in a video. So far, we have reached the step value. So, enjoy! Once again, a competition between males and females, whose short-term memory is the best. Well, it's said that females would win this competition, however we decided to check this ourselves. As we were only able to test this in our university, so the hypothesis had to be in this form. As well said, a female undergraduate student is more likely to score than a male student in a short-term memory test. The experiment intended to test both visual and auditory memory. However, making a good and valid memory test took us a lot of time and effort. The test itself was made in the form of a Visual Studio application using c -sharp and XAML programming languages in order to effectively make our memory test in the desired form. So, here is our software. However, we have designed a Google form to give the answers of the participants. The test firstly asks the participant some details about himself, the gender essentially, the age, the batch, the major, just some details to make sure our sample is fairly representative. We also asked the participant for other details, factors that may affect the participant's performance, like the number of sleep hours and the degree of being tired and hungry. Once the participant is done, he is ready to take the test. In the first part of the test, the participant is shown 8 successive numbers of one digit, then another 8 numbers of two digits in order to increase difficulty. The questions tested the ability to hold information in the visual registers and transfer them to the short-term memory. In addition, they also tested the extent of being affected by proactive, retroactive, and serial position effects. In the second part, the participant listens to a story in Arabic. يوم الخميس اللي فات ربنا قدر إن بيت جديد يتفتح لما سامح وسلمة تجوزه. We were not willing to test listening skills, so the whole story was told in Arabic. The participant is then to answer some questions about details in the story. Kareem, what a good narrator. In the third and most difficult part, as most of the participants report, the participants were shown four images, each for two seconds, and after each one they were asked about one of the details. Finally, the participants were asked about their opinion about who has a better short-term memory, male or a female. Fortunately, we were able to perform the experiment with 47 of our colleagues. Well, not that fair, but we were restricted to our colleagues' number. What could have we done? So, 47 subjects were tested, 66% males for 34% females. Third year students were also twice as many, and only one visitor participated. Well, of course we tried to limit this in order to stick to our hypothesis. As for measures, the most of the participants were from space and nanotechnology. So, we guess from the previous data that our sample was quite representative. We can see that the average score of females is higher which definitely verifies our hypothesis. However, we could also gather some interesting data. Firstly, the average of part 1 and part 3, which were the visual parts, were much less than part 2, the auditory part. This agrees with the fact that information in the auditory registers lasts for longer. Secondly, it seems that sleep hours don't significantly affect males' performance. However, they seem to affect females powerfully. The same for level of being tired. Finally, and most exciting, the level of being hungry doesn't seem to affect females' performance. However, it seems that the more a male is hungry, the better his performance. Could it be that males' performance increase with hunger? Or is it that males are not being honest enough about their status? Or is this just because our sample is not big enough? 
these discoveries will definitely need for further research anyway. So, thank you for watching us, and a very special thank you to the X-Man Muhammad Meher, who helped us a lot performing the experiment. Meher, we love you, man. See you in another project.